up? Monday, RG3 making some comments that uh, may have some people shaking their heads. Ooh, yeah. Me, though, I like RG3. <laughs> CC Sabathia involved in a heated incident outside a nightclub, and that's just a slice of what's going on on this Monday. Welcome to America's Free Game. I'm Mike Hill. And I'm Molly McGrath. Yes, a busy year to college sports and a major victory for the NCAA. The National Labor Relations Board ruled that Division I football players at Northwestern University cannot unionize. This decision throws out a March 2014 ruling that football players are school employees, which would have allowed them to engage in collective bargaining with the university. Northwestern fought fiercely against this, arguing that players are students first, and athletes second. This decision puts the unionization movement on hold. In the NFL, Washington's football team plans on keeping their name the Redskins no matter the cost. Team president Bruce Allen declared that the team will not reconsider changing its name, even though it could keep them from finding a new home. The club's lease at FedEx Field runs through 2026, and the team's exploring new sites for a stadium in either Maryland, Washington, or Virginia. Yeah, right, that's quick. Was. <laughs> All right, moving on. Philip Rivers may not have won a title just yet, but he's getting paid like an elite quarterback. This that looks like Ephraim on a Friday night. I don't know about you. Okay, over to some baseball news. The Yankees need a struggling CC Sabathia to regain his edge, but this probably isn't the way they pictured it. Early Saturday morning, Sabathia was restrained from a brawl outside of a Toronto nightclub and was forced into a car before a fight ensued. Promo code leadoff at DraftKings.com. You know what today is? It's a special day. Mars, a special day right here at Fox Sports 1 as we celebrate our second birthday on the air. Yay! Let's take a quick look back at how the network officially made its debut two years ago oh, uh -oh. today. Who's this? Good morning. I'm Molly McGrath. So glad to be with you on our first day of Fox Sports 1. We could not be more excited to bring you a terrific oh, day of sports. Good morning, at noon, it's everybody. the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series from Michigan. I'm then it's the debut of one-on-one -on -one okay. -on as our Michael Strahan sits down I with Patriots that. QB Tom <laughs> Brady. So, for you've grown up I'm a baby. <laughs> hey, tomorrow, Jay Glazer goes up close. Fell. When it was announced that Patriots quarterback Tom Brady would miss practice today, everyone assumed that he was preparing for a federal court hearing in New York tomorrow regarding his four-game suspension for Deflategate. Well, those assumptions were wrong. As confirmed by our NFL insider Mike Garofolo, Brady will not be attending tomorrow's hearing. Guys, Red Sox managers of past and present Terry Francona and John Farrell have a friendship that dates back nearly three decades. The two were teammates with the Indians in 1988, were reunited with the Tigers in 96, and later spent four seasons together on Boston's coaching staff, with Farrell serving under Francona as pitching coach before taking over as manager. Farrell announced last Friday that he will not manage the rest of the season. More on Danica Patrick coming up next on NASCAR's Race Hub. And onto the NFL, the Seattle Seahawks have released rookie long snapper Nate Boyer, a 34 year old former U.S. Army Green Beret. Boyer led the team onto the field before his NFL debut in Friday's preseason game, where he handled long snapping duties in the second half and was credited with a tackle. The Seahawks needed a roster spot open to sign backup QB Jake Waters.